Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nasim. Today I am going to show you how you can enable data layer for your Shopify website. Data layer is very important when you want to set up tracking system with Google Tag Manager. So no more talks, let's get started. If you are complete beginner, don't know about data layer and how it works and what is actually it, then let me show you what is data layer. In ChatGPT, I just write e-commerce data layer and ChatGPT say in e-commerce, a data layer is a structured JavaScript object that hold and organize data about the website and its users open for the purpose of tracking analytics and integration with tools like Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics or other third party service. Okay. And this is the sample of data layer they already right for me and here you can see this is the look like the data so that means when someone purchases a product we will get a purchase event including the transaction id affiliation value and currency and so on so this data we can configure and we can organize that and we can send it to our ads platform also google analytics and you can also do some research about data layer if you are complete beginner for installing data layer of course we need a google tag manager container first so let me show you how you can create a new google tag manager container when you will visit tagmanager.google.com you will get a interface of google tag manager just you need to sign in your email address and then create account if you are complete beginner or your account is completely free and in my case i have couple of container here and i just want to make a new container inside of this account okay so here you can see this is the account and this is the container and in this is the one account and here is the three container like this so let's create a container inside of this okay so go to settings and then hit create and then your website for my case i am inputting my website called king's t-shirt and then hit web this is important because we are going to make the web container okay and here you can see this is several container in here but i will discuss in later but for now select web and hit create and now here you can see our google tag manager container is ready and this is the google tag manager code and the this code we need to connect our website to google tag manager connecting google tag manager and data layer code is very sensitive so please follow my instruction that i am going to show you in this video go to your website backend so this is the shopify website and i am already in my backend so you need to do that okay and first of all i am going to open a notion where i have write a step by step process so this is the three step process that i am going to follow to install shopify data layer okay first step go to theme.liquid and paste after write head tag copy and replace jtmid just copy this code and go to theme and edit code and then this is the head tag and paste this code and of course you need to replace this gtm code with your own code for my case just i am going to replace this code and then save it so we have done the first step now the second step copy a new code and paste inside of the snippet section including the name of the snippet okay so expand this this is the snippet name go back and go to snippet add new snippet just paste that code 
and hit down and again go and this is the code just copy it and paste it here don't need to change anything just hit save expand the third step we need to go to settings customer event and paste the code just copy that go back your shopify website go to settings and then customer events add custom pixels and name whatever you want for me gtm data layer okay add pixels and then permission not required data cells not this one and then save all delete and paste that code we have inputted and again we need to replace the code with this gtm id and then click on save and when you save don't forget to hit connect because we need to connect that code to our shopify store so our three step process is done now it's time to check our data layer let's go to preview copy the website url and then paste here and hit connect and here you can see our google tag manager is now connected and if i go to the any specific product page i should see a view item event on that page so sometime it's a cookie problem and sometime we need to publish that version okay so let's publish this version and go to google tag manager workspace and then again the preview and then connect with the same website of course and go to the catalog page you can see now it's working so you can see this is the view item event this is for e-commerce and all the data layer we are seeing in there so this is all we need to send our analytics then add to cart go back and here you can see this is the add to cart event with this data and if i go to the view item so this is the view cart and here you can see the view cart is here so that's mean is working and we have successfully installed inside our shopify store if you really want this data layer code with the ga4 complete setup system then i will give a link on this video description don't forget to check it out my name is nasim i will see you on the next one till then bye have a great day